Hello and welcome to my LFR raid guide to the Shah of Pride. The Shah of Pride is the last boss in the first wing of the LFR, and he should be quite manageable bar the end, which can get a little bit hectic. Now the main mechanic is Pride. You start with zero and pretty much anything that damages you will make you gain Pride. Periodically Gift of the Titans will be put on random players. Uh, when you get this you should stack up because this will give you a 15% damage and healing buff and it also makes you immune to Pride gains. Now on LFR, it seems like they actually removed the tank swap mechanic, so it's not relevant. Now also he will summon two different kinds of adds, small and large. Whenever the small ones are summoned, pools of like black gloop will form on the floor underneath players. Being hit by a pool will deal 140k damage and give you 5 pride. The small adds are then picked up by the off tank and nuked down by the raid. The large ad is called the Manifestation of Pride. It will spawn in the sort of little alcove in the back of the room. Simply nuke it down, it will do some things the damage players and give them pride, but it's really not a worry in LFR. Next we have the Prison. He will port two players to the prisons in the corners of the room. You can see them big glowing things. And when in prison you take shadow damage and gain pride. Now two of the arcs around the prison will turn orange, which means that the players who are not in the prison need to just stand in the orange things to free the imprisoned player. Next he has an ability called... Mark of Arrogance, which will do some, like, just stacking damage pretty much to players. And uh, when you dispel this, you will gain 5 pride. That means that you should only really dispel this, you know, for healers, you should only dispel this when you have Gift of the Titans, because that means you won't take the additional pride. Now, the main ability here is called Swelling Pride. And this does different things based on the amount of pride you have. If you are under 25 pride, it will do nothing. If you are from 25 to 49, it will create a pool on the floor that explodes to do very heavy damage. From 50 to 74 pride, it will create a copy of your character which you need to stand in. From 75 to 99 pride, it will make you deal AoE damage to players near you. And at 100 pride, you are mind controlled. Now you will be mostly, and really pretty much nearly exclusively, dealing with the 25 to 49 ability. This causes the most wipes. People absolutely must stand out of the stuff on the ground. You can see in our raid, nearly half the raid goes down because people just didn't stand, like, stand out of it. So, that's a bit of a problem. Now, finally, at 35%, the boss will enrage. Nurishen will die, and uh, in dying, he will bring everyone's pride to zero. This means that uh, the Shag gains one extra ability, which will do 135k damage and give five pride to everyone every 10 seconds for the rest of the fight. So pretty much, he just gains this new ability, it does heavy damage and gives pride. Now, since everyone's pride is zeroed, Pride is not a massive issue until the very latter stages of the fight. So other than this additional damage, the fight is the exact same. You still need to deal with the prisons, you still need to deal with the adds. And uh, the small adds can get pretty out of hand near the end of the fight. So there may be a time when you just want to choose to kill the boss and focus him down instead of the adds. Perhaps say the last 15 to 20 million health. But it can get rather out of hand. So the more DPS you have here, the better. Honestly, this fight... Like, we, we were able to one-shot everything in LFR, um, and that's just a regular LFR group, no guildies, nothing like that. So this boss should be completely fine for you. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope this helps you out, and I'll see you next time.